It's our solar system's seventh planet. It is an icy giant and it's called Uranus. Now, I grew up calling it Uranus. Both versions of that are technically correct. Um, people tend not to use the latter for obvious reasons. Definitely don't call it your rear end. The only probe to visit Uranus is the Voyager 2 space probe, and this was a really interesting mission because it's older than me and still going. Uh, it took about nine years to get from the Earth to Uranus. That's how far away this thing is. Um, Voyager 2 was also very lucky. We timed it right. There was a very rare alignment of the planets which allows you to hop from Jupiter to Saturn to Uranus to Neptune and steal a bit of a gravity assist as you fly by each one, which allowed Voyager 2 to visit all four in one go, which is a rare thing indeed. We won't be able to do this for a very long time. Uranus is technically an icy giant, so yes, it's a gas giant, but unlike Jupiter and Saturn, which is mostly hydrogen and helium all the way down, we think Uranus and Neptune, like it, have a lot more icy material. So that's things like water, ammonia, methane, all locked up in the core. It has a bit of methane in its upper atmosphere and that gives it that lovely characteristic sort of bluey green colour so it's sort of messing with the light from the sun. Now the music from Holst, it's called The Magician and the song is quite epic but also quite cheeky uh, when I listen to it. Uh, and that's quite good because Uranus has secrets that we are trying to understand. It's the only planet in the solar system that spins weirdly. Most things uh, spin in this sort of general direction around the solar system. Uh, Uranus spins like this, so it's actually kind of rolling along like a barrel and we're still trying to figure out why. We actually think something very massive, maybe twice as big as the Earth, had smashed into the early Uranus and causing it to flip onto its side. We're still trying to work that out. Uranus is about 20 times further away from the sun than the Earth is. So that means you get about 1 400th of the amount of sunlight falling on it, which makes it a very chilly place indeed. Now, it's even colder than Neptune, and we're still trying to understand why. It's, it currently holds the record for the coldest measured place in the solar system. It's something like minus 224 degrees centigrade. And we think that had something to do with the strange um, origin of it spinning on its side something along those lines, that, that impact may have been one of the reasons why you don't measure as much heat coming from Uranus as you would expect. <laughs> I just called it Uranus too. <laughs>